Good evening and welcome. We are going to get started in a couple of seconds, okay? So I am glad that all of you are here, people. Good evening, Miss Jennifer Beatriz. Good evening, Miss Carla Minero. Uh, Miss Susan Carolina is just a listener today. Okay, we're going to get started in about, okay, it's exactly the time to get started. So here we go, class, okay? And as every single day, I have to tell you that I am so glad that all of you are here. And we are going to start the class at this moment. I'm going to share my PPT with you so you can be aware of what we are going to be, we, of what, hey, what's going on here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, thank you. I don't know if one of you was uh, sharing the screen at the same time that I was, but something real happened, okay? So it is loading. Okay, here we go. I think that you can see my screen right now, yes? And here we go. Today is September 13th, 2023. And we continue with our classes. In the agenda for today, we have the welcoming, what I did at the beginning. And we're going to read the objectives. We're going to be in this class asking and telling scheduled activities at my workplace. You will practice a conversation asking and telling information about the scheduled activities that you have at your workplace. And you will practice how to use the simple present tense for schedule activities. But also you will write sentences about you and people in your workplace, okay? The activities that are scheduled, booked, or in the agenda for you and your coworkers. And you will create and practice a conversation about asking and telling my schedule activities at work. So here we go, class. And just as a reminder for you, homeworks and evaluations. Remember, class, it is mandatory to get the 80% as an average in your homeworks and evaluations in order to get your certification at the end of the level. Because many times at the end of the level, people are demanding the diploma, but they didn't complete the assignments or they were not uh, the 80% in the classes, the two things, the attendance in class and the work, the academic work on the platform. You know that the homeworks and evaluations are on the learning platform, right? And you have a period of time in order to complete your evaluations and assignments, your homeworks. Then here, as every single day, we have the requirements, your full name, when you get connected to the platform. And in case that you are a listener, you have to write listener because it means that you're not going to participate. Cameras on, minimize the sound, the environment sound as much as possible and active participation as every day. Again, the attendance, what I told you at the beginning, okay? It is expected that you uh, must be connected 120 minutes because that is the class time. And I will call your names twice in order to in order to check your attendance. Yeah, and the one-on-one -on -one session is available at the end of the class. And here we have, you know, mm, but this is the expectation, all the cameras on, the microphone mute, cameras on, the two chats available, WhatsApp and Zoom, the breakout, room, uh, breakout rooms are available for you. The bottom ask for, for help is available when you are working in the breakout rooms. And as every single day, I ask you to respect above all. When one is talking, you let the other Remain in silence, okay? And you give your opinion. Remember, all the opinions are respectful because it is your opinion. I have to respect your opinion, then, okay? And here we have, we are 
September the 13th, section number two. Okay. You have to continue working on that. And we have the objectives. One of you is going to help me reading the objectives. Okay. Who is going to be today? The volunteer to read the objectives. Mm, I'm going to choose the, the victim then. Miss Minero, would you please read the objectives? General objective. objective. Participants will use simple present for schedule activities. A specific objective. Participants will be able to ask and talk about the scheduled activities of a regular day in the workplace. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants will tell their partners what a regular day is like in their workplace using simple present. Excellent, great. So here you notice that it is related to the agenda that I read for you. And now here we go. But before we go over that activity, we're going to have a reminder, a feedback on what we did yesterday in class because we need to associate the contents. Yesterday you were reading, okay, this article taken from internet. It's about the five requirements of the perfect manager. You were reading as a class, as a group. You analyzed this information and you created a list of the requirements in order to be the perfect manager, yeah? Some of them are be a people person, be a good communicator, be technically proficient, encourage teamwork, lead by example, okay? Also be empathic, some of you said, and many others, okay? In order to be a good leader. But also we were practicing over these statements. Are these statements true or false, yes? And you were saying it is more important to manage systems and people, it is false, and so on. We were working on these statements, and you wrote a seven-line paragraph about your work experience and personal information, such as Durex experience and other jobs. But you used uh, time expressions, and two or three of you read at the end, yeah, this paragraph that you wrote. So it is time to get started, and here we go. I'm going to share the PPT again with you, class. Because here we have asking and telling about the schedule activities in a regular day in the workplace. What is the purpose? Okay, class, you are going to ask and tell your partners about the schedule activities in a regular day in your workplace. So as a class, I need you to listen to the instructions because you're going to work in groups. How come in the breakout rooms? I'm going to tell you what questions you are going to be asking and answering one by one, okay? The idea is that all of you practice the questions and the answers. Is that okay? But it is about your real information. Okay, so let me see here. I'm going to share with you that via WhatsApp, that information. Okay, here, let me see. Okay. I'm going to share that slide via WhatsApp with you guys. So there is no inconvenience and there you are. There are two questions. I have shared the slide with you via WhatsApp. And in your manual, you have it like this, okay? What is a regular day at your workplace like? And how busy are you? Those are the questions that you are going to be asking and answering right now, yeah? At page 19, you have that information. And what is the PPT over here, okay? I'm going to share it. This is what I was sharing at page 19 says here, okay? And this is, what is a regular day at your workplace like? And how busy are you? Mm, how is a regular day at your workplace like? Well, 
the, the working day starts at 8 a.m., at 7 a.m., at 7.30 a.m. I check in, I go to the office, I turn on the computer, I have a meeting and blah, blah, blah. You describe how a regular day at your workplace is like. You describe one day. And how busy are you? Some days I am really busy. Some other days I am not so busy uh, because blah, blah, blah. You describe the activities that you do at your workplace. Is it clear what you are going to do or no? Yes. Sure. Okay. Teacher, I really don't get it. Can you explain it, please? Okay. I'm going to explain to you the instructions. Here, you are going to work in a small groups. Imagine that you are working with Mr. Daniel Ernesto. You ask the two questions to him. Yeah, he answers. When he answers, then he is going to ask you the questions in exercise one, page 19, that I have shared with you via WhatsApp, but you have it in your manual at page 19. You are not going to write, no writing, only speaking. Only oral practice, yes? Okay, it is like, a, okay, Miss Jennifer, ask the first question to me. Read the first question. What is a regular day at your workplace like? Um. Well, my work uh, day starts at 7.30 a.m. I check in, I go to the office because in the morning I do academic office uh, work, okay? And then I uh, turn on my computer. I usually have a meeting with my boss and with the other advisors. And um, later we write uh, some reports. After that, we have lunch. In the afternoon, I teach classes and blah, 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 yes? That is your activities. And then you ask me, ask me the, the second question, how busy are you? How busy are you? Well, I am really busy because um, it is not only preparing classes. I have to attend meetings, prepare classes, check homework, prepare evaluations, check my students' work on the platform, yes? And uh, to answer some uh, text messages because uh, my students sometimes ask for help and I need to help them. So I think that I am busy and I always have a really busy day. Yes. And now because you ask me, I'm going to ask you, okay, Miss Jennifer, what is a regular day at your workplace like? And then you start answering. Is that okay? Okay. okay very I well. Get it. Thank you. Um, okay. Thank you for asking. And now we go to the breakout rooms, okay? Remember, ask and answer. Okay, here we go. Everybody, only oral participation, no writing. I'm going to share with you right now the, the invitation. Okay, join your groups. I have one, two, three, four, five groups, okay? Go to your groups, please, and begin asking and answering. Okay, Miss Evelyn, join to the group, please. Rosalie Bond, join to the group. Oscar Eduardo, go to the group. Edwin Esaú, go to your group, please. I need you to join to your groups, okay? Please. Okay. 
Oke. Okay. Ok, este, no sé si ya comenzamos haciendo la pregunta y la respuesta o primero va a pensar su respuesta. No. ¿De una vez? Sí, 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 un solo. Ok. Eh, Ursula, what is, what is a regular day at your workplace like? Ok. Well, in... I start to work at 8 a.m. and I turn on the computer and I start to check my email, email and my WhatsApp because I receive some requirements in, in the email and in the WhatsApp. Um, then uh, I usually um, have a meeting with some And here, who is active? Who are participating in the class? Me teacher. Okay, Guillermo, Eduardo, Noe Gustavo, and Miss Carla. Yes? yes, the three of you. Okay. Remember that the idea is that you practice speaking, okay? Take advantage of the time. Busy are you? What? How busy are you? My day today means very busy because I have to go out with the school agenda. Okay, it's my turn. What is a regular day at your workplace like? Uh, well, uh, every day I spend busy working for my clients. Okay, how busy are you? For me, no, it's busy. But every day I vis visit client and yeah, just estoy acostumbrado. So you say every day is busy for me. Every day is busy for me, yeah. Uh-huh. I am busy all the days, every day. Okay. 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 Si gusta le pregunto yo a Miguel. What is a regular day at your workplace like? Why me? <laughs> okay, um, I will start. Quiero ver. I see what is the question. Perdón. Is Ah, what is a regular day? Um, it's uh, very simple, my day in my work. Mm -hmm. um, every day I... I... ¿Cómo se dice encender uh, my machine? machine? Turn I, on. I, I start Turn my on. machine. I start my machine. Uh, I work in my house. Eh, um, entonces, o oh, sería, ¿cómo se dice entonces? 
I, then, I, then, I, then, then, yes. Yes, uh, then, um, entonces, yes, I work in my, in my house. I start my machine at 8 a.m. every day. Um, I have um, approx ¿Cómo se dice aproximadamente, teacher? Approximately. Approximately. Approximately, I have uh, four and five uh, meetings uh, with my my uh, co-workers, my uh, my boss. Uh, um, the two, uh, I uh, supervisor, uh, the other supervisor uh, in my in my uh, work. Yes, um, I don't know. Is is easy? I. Okay. I make the the, the report uh, in different hours, uh, depend, dependiendo, depend, ¿cómo sería dependiendo? Depending, depending. Depending, uh, uh, the necessary, the, la necesidad, o si sería de necessary, o porque necesario es necessary. ¿Cómo mm -hmm. sería necesidad? Depending the need. Depending the need. Okay. Need is help. Okay. Yes. Depending uh, the need. Only that. <laughs> For my in my. Very job. easy. Very easy. So you are never busy. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Continue. How busy are you? Ah. Uh, Mucho sería too much. Are you okay? Too much? Okay, too very much. well. Okay. okay. Uh, my turn is the question uh, for Maritza. What is a regular day at your workplace like? My regular day is answer calls, review invoices, and Okay. Reina and I uh, did the uh, answer the question. Okay. Now, now Henry, no. Uh -huh. Okay. Henry, what is a regular day at your workplace? And how busy are you? Henry, are you there, Henry? Henry Giovanni, are you there? Oh, I know, Henry, you have problems with your microphone. Okay, ask the question to, uh, okay, say hello. No, but I mean, check it. Listen. If you, maybe, Henry, if you get out and you come back to the class, it's going to work. Or check uh, the volume. Check the volume and check if it is well connected. Revise si lo ha conectado bien y revise le verifique el volumen. Otherwise, you may, um, you may get out from the platform and then you get back and when the platform asks you join the meeting of uh, join the sound of the computer you click on yes because if you didn't click on yes it is not letting you share the sound okay so sorry okay ask the the question to another partner okay Sonia Esmeralda, what is a regular day at the workplace and how busy are you?
Hola, este, voy entrando a la reunión, no sé, no sé eh, de qué, de qué, cuál es el ejercicio. Oh my God, at page 19 means you have these two questions, okay? What is a regular day at your workplace like and how busy are you? You have to answer these two questions that your classmate is asking you. These questions are part of exercise one at page 19, okay? Okay. Okay. In here class, did you finish asking and answering the questions? Hello, knock yes, knock. Sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and Noe, did you participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So class, let's get back. And Mr. David didn't participate because he's a listener today. Okay, let's return. Thank you. I'm going to call your names in order to take your first attendance, okay? Here we go. Miss Ana Cristina, is she here? Where are you, Miss Ana Cristina? No. A lot of listeners today. Miss Ana Cristina is not here. Okay. Andre, he said he was going to be absent, yeah? Arely Isabel. She's not here. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Dani. Present. Thank you, sir. David Emanuel. Present David. teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. thank you. Daisy Carolina. Daisy, where are you? Daisy. Don't you see Daisy is absent? Okay. Edwin Esaú. Okay. Thank you, Edwin Esaú, as a listener. El, Miss Carla Minero is here. Yeah. Working on every day. Elizabeth, uh, yeah, Miss Evelyn Jamilet. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. Is Yvonne Mejiva, Phil Yvonne? Present. Thank you, Miss. Guillermo Eduardo? Guillermo Eduardo? Henry Giovanni? Present teacher. Okay. Hey, Giovanni has a problem with the microphone, but he is here in the recording, but at least the camera is okay. Uh, Jennifer Beatriz? She's very responsible here always. Juan Eduardo Flores. Juan Eduardo Flores. Okay, absent. 
Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Katia. Okay, listener Katia today. Maritza Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. I'm here. Miguel Ángel Santos. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Noé Gustavo. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Oscar Humberto. Absent. Reina Elizabeth. Present. Ah, you're here. Now let's see uh, Rosalie Yvonne. Rosalie, Rosalie, I have an idea that I saw her. Yeah, but she's a listener. She says, okay, listener. Sonia? Sonia, where are you? I saw you. Hello, teacher. <laughs> yes, hello. <laughs> Susan, Caroline. Present teacher. Ay, okay, Susan, you have been uh, having problems with your connectivity today. Ursula Esteli. Present teacher. Thank you. Great. Yes, you were the great participants. Okay, class. Listen, as I told you, we are going to be uh, working with the schedule activities. It means in your agenda, okay, you have a schedule activities in your calendar, right? Or in the calendar that you have in the computer or in your cell phone because we need to have an agenda in our workplace, yeah? And that is what this class is about today, okay? You're going to personalize your, uh, your experiences. And here we go. What are we going to do in the next activity? This is what you were practicing, asking and answering in the breakout rooms, okay? But now, here we go over. Practicing a conversation, asking and telling information about schedule, ske schedule, schedule activities. The purpose is to practice a conversation, asking and telling information about schedule activities. Then we're going to work as a class. I need you to turn your book at page 19. You listen to your teacher, read the conversation. Later, I'm going to ask for volunteers to read the conversation as a model of what you are going to do in the breakout rooms. Later, you go to the breakout rooms and practice the conversation with a classmate in, a school, in a small groups. When you have finished practicing the conversation and switching roles, you are going to answer the questions considering the information given in the conversation, okay? And the conversation is this one. But since you have your manual, we're going to work on the manual right now, okay? Because you have a better sight. And here we go. As I told you, you have to listen to the teacher, read the conversation, then you practice. The conversation is between Will and Arson. And it goes like this. This kitchen looks great. It does? Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, but does Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does uh, after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Now I want you to notice one thing. Here, this part, notice this, Orson is a mistake, okay? Because Will says this, and then it should be Orson over here. I get it, and here Will, yes? Okay, notice that. Because uh, there is uh, Orson, okay, extra. 
because our son should be the penultimate and will the last one. So here we go, one more time. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Says, ah, Orson says, no, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 12 to p.m. 2 p.m. Then will says, I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay. Now, the next step. I need two participants, two volunteers to read this conversation. Who is going to read the will? I'm waiting for you to volunteer. Miguel Angel, you are going to read Will. Excellent. Great. Thank you so much. And who is going to read our son? Miguel Angel is going to read Will, but I need... Another volunteer to read our song. Thank you, Maritza. Excellent. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's begin. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does. A really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she uh, doesn't. Jorge doesn't. Pero, no, she <laughs> doesn't. Jorge does. He take order. No, pero me, ya me pasé. No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes. Sorry. Who is Will? Me. Aha, uh -huh. so you finish during the morning shift, and then Maritza is going to say, no, she doesn't, okay? Ah, okay, oh, pues no me había equivocado. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, she doesn't, Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it, and who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Thank you. Okay, very well, great. And this is the first part. The second part is that you switch roles, okay? You exchange roles. When you have finished practicing this conversation two times, because you're going to switch roles, you go over these two questions. You are going to discuss and answer the questions one, two, and three. Who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays? Wednesdays. Remember that you don't pronounce the letter D. Wednesdays. Not even the N. The E S. Okay. Wednesdays. Is it clear? You know what yes. you have to do? Yes? Okay. Yes. Now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. And here we go. Remember to practice as much as possible now that you have the chance. Okay. Go to your groups, please. Okay. Hey, what's this? Okay. Join your groups if you are so nice. 
Okay, Arely, Isabel, I sent you the invitation. Rosalie, David Emanuel, Ana Cristina, Susan, and Oscar Eduardo, please go to your groups so you get your minutes of attendance, okay? Who is in charge of cleaning? Cleaning it. Jessica is. Yes. She, she cleans the chicken from Monday to Wednesday. Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't. Cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays and Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does hop after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay. Hoy los otros que están ahí, no sé si practic. Mm, they are listener listeners. and listener. Okay. Okay. So you have. Uh, did you switch roles? Yes. Yep. Now answer the questions, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, no okay, great. Very well. The answer. The... Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Thank you. Okay. Marilyn. Hola. Comienzo yo. His kitchen looks great. It it does hoy younger or clean it. Jessica is she cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good how. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she does. Jorge does he take order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Uh, empiezo yo. Uh -huh. This chicken look great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Mm -hmm. Jessica, is she clean is chicken from Monday to Westender? She does a really good job. Is it but does Jessica take order during the morning chicks? No, she doesn't. Or he does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. I am what does offer here. That he brought it, take the order after here. Yes. That. And Yvonne and Miguel Angel, did they practice? Yes. Yes. Okay. And Miguel, did you switch roles? Yes. 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 Okay, great. Now answer the questions. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, yes, the question are... from Monday to Wednesday. Yeah. 
Uh, Miss Jennifer, did you practice Miss Jennifer? Jennifer? Jennifer, I don't listen to you clearly, but did you have to practice? Si practico, Jennifer. Um, okay, I'm going to transfer you to another group, okay, Jennifer? So you can practice. Jennifer. Yeah, that's why I'm going to transfer you to another group. Okay. Let me see. Okay, to group number two. I'm going to transfer you to that group. Okay. And here we go. Okay, class, here you have another participant. Jennifer Beatriz, I need you to do me a favor. I need one of you to practice with uh, Jennifer. Who wants to practice with Jennifer Beatriz? Tani or Carlos? Cualquiera, no hay problema. Okay, Dani. Jennifer, are you ready? Yeah. Begin, please. Okay. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in chair of cleaning it? Yes, guys. He cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed, but she doesn't just even think. Take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. And take order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. And who does after him? Does his father take the order afternoon? Yes, he does. This kitchen looks great. He does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays and Wednesdays. He does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. For her does. She takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Thank you. Okay, class. Now I'm going to transfer you to another group. And who does after him? Does he brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Okay. Thank you. For yes, the yeah, you have to switch. Yes. See. Sí, okay. Uh -huh. Again. Okay. The, this kitchen looks great. He does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays and Wednesdays. He does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. She takes order from 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. And you answer the questions, yes? Yes. Okay, let's return to the main session room. Okay, here we go.
Okay, let's wait for the other partners to return. In 19 seconds, actually 15, they are going to come back, okay? Thank you. Okay, class, now here we go. Let's answer the questions. Volunteers to answer the questions. Who cleans the kitchen? Kitchen, no chicken. Chicken is the one that we eat. Aha, uh -huh, you get easily confused. I listened when I was monitoring your groups class that some of you were saying chicken. And, oh, yes, it is clean, you were saying. No, it is kitchen. Kitchen, okay? Who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays? Uh-huh, the answer is, please tell me. Jessica does. Okay, great. Jessica does. Jessica does. Short answer, right? And what does Jorge do? What does he do? According to the information in George, the conversation, uh huh, Jorge. George, George takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Correct? Excellent. That's correct. Very well. Now, when does for his brother take orders? He takes orders when? After him. After him. After him. Very good. Congratulations. Remember, we say Mondays, not Monday, no. Oh, no. Like a circumflex sound, Monday. The mouse is not open as an O, no. Mondays, a soft sound, Mondays. Wednesdays, W-E-E-S-D-A-S-Y. Wednesdays, Wednesdays. Kitchen, kitchen, okay, kitchen. And then we also have a schedule activities. Okay, who is in charge of cleaning it? Mondays to Wednesdays. Good job, good job. Morning shift, evening shift, night shift, okay? Do you have any question about this? Any comment? No? Okay, here no. we go, right now. How to use the simple present for schedule activities. You have to use the simple present for schedule activities. For example, Matt serves at 2 p.m. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. Andrea cleans, hmm, hold it. Andrea cleans the tables from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. It means that in Matt's agenda at work, he knows that he has to serve from 2 p.m. on. Paul, in his schedule activities, in his calendar, in his agenda, he knows that he gets to work at 1 p.m. Andrea has to clean the tables from 5 to 9 p.m. because that is the schedule activity. In the schedule of the company, her name is, okay, clean the tables, Andrea, from 5 to 9 p.m. Who is going to cook uh, from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. in the schedule of the company? Okay, the supervisor checks that Maria must be cooking 
from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Is that okay? Yes. Now, now let's put into practice this. You are going class to use these verbs. Okay, use the verb form, the box to write sentences about you and people in your workplace. For example, work. Let's imagine here, this is just an example for you. I get to work at 7 a.m. Yes, this is my schedule. I need to be there. Open. If you open your business, the office or whatever, I don't know, or I open. Mm, let's see. The janitor opens the office at 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. to do the cleaning. Okay. She has to be there to do the cleaning from the janitor from six to seven because at seven when we arrive everything must be clean the desk the floor the uh, bathroom everything must be neat and clean so this is because i wrote one sentence about me i wrote another sentence about the janitor of the office and then arrive close and go because the instruction is write sentences about you and people in your workplace. So the sentences are going to be different because you work in different places. Is that okay? Did you get it? Okay. Okay, but this is individual work. So we're going to work right now over here building your sentences. When you finish, you tell me because you are going to share in the breakout rooms. Reading, okay? Construct your sentences with these verbs. Work, open, arrive, close, go. Mm -hmm. Or you may say the, the, the security opens the, the door for the employees at, at eight, at seven, at six, I don't know. Okay, use your imagination and the people that work with you or you, okay? If you have any question, I am here to help you, okay? Hey class, while you are working, I'm going to take a picture of you. Now that you are connected because it is raining cats and dogs in some places 
and many of your partners are having problems with the connectivity. Now that the connectivity is okay for you and me, here we go. Okay, activate your cameras if you are so nice, please. No matter where you are or how you are, as an evidence of this rainy night. Uh, excellent, Danny. Great, okay, to the count of three, here we go. One, two, three, hello. Oh, yes, Reina, excellent. Great, and now I'm going to share it with you guys. Okay, over here, let's see. Great, thank you so much. Now let's continue working individually. 